This lab is about modern human variation. We've been learning all about fossils and sort of leading up to Homo sapiens. And now what we're going to do is look at the variation in different human populations and different features, first of all, that males and females have that we can use to look at a population in the past. Sometimes in ancient Egypt, people were buried and now people are excavating them and you get a population and you say, okay, I have 16 females, 32 males, and things like that. And you can tell that by the various features that these uh, skulls have. This, for example, you can look at this uh, jaw here. This is definitely a male. Females don't uh, do this. So that's one thing we're gonna do in this lab. The second thing is as you look at these populations that are buried in ancient Egypt or in Peru or wherever they're found, you find things like this. And this is a tibia and you can tell that it was broken and it healed. And so we can see that this, whoever along the skeleton that has this tibia had some kind of injury. We can tell if there was domestic violence because sometimes you get um, hit if you're holding up uh, your face to protect your face, you get hit. You can see all these different things. Uh, so this is called paleopathology. We're looking at the pathology on the bones, the, the broken bones, diseased bones, etc. The third thing that we're going to talk about in this lab is forensic anthropology. Everyone is very excited about forensic anthropology from watching CSI, but it's really difficult to find a, a skeleton and identify it to sex, etc. This uh, rib right here has a bullet in it, so this person, uh, the bullet is in there and it healed. Uh, so if this was a part of a skeleton that was found and the police are trying to find out what happened, it was obviously shot, but this was not the death uh, bullet, so to speak. Sometimes people have dental records and you can look at the teeth. Um, this poor guy got beamed with um, an ax. Um, and then there are diseases that we can look at too. This is what happens when you have syphilis. Uh, for a very long time, your skull gets all of these little porous poriosities uh, on it. So in modern humans, for forensics and for populations, we can tell a lot just by looking at the skeletal material.